What is biomedical science? Well, biomedical science covers a broad range of subjects exploring the human body in health and disease. It's a practical based subject involving the application of laboratory methods for diagnosing, analysing and treating disease. For example, students might learn how to analyse a blood sample to diagnose health. Biomedical science therefore suits students who have an inquiring mind and a fascination for the human body. How do you study biomedical science? Well, in the UK, students can study for a degree in biomedical science that's usually three years and full time. Some are accredited by professional bodies, so the Institute of Biomedical Science, and some lead to registration with the Health Professions Council, which is important for working in the NHS. Some incorporate placements in hospitals and research laboratories. So what subjects are covered? Well, a wide range of subjects, anatomy, physiology, genetics, haematology, very similar to components of a medical degree. And students can study biomedical science at many UK universities and the courses will all be slightly different depending on the research interests of staff. So now over to our students who will explain more about their biomedical science degree and their thoughts about their experience and their employment prospects. The way it's structured is really good because we have like external speakers come in who are actually working in the hospital labs at the moment so it's all up to date and very modern. Yeah. Third year has actually been really good, like I think it's better than first year and second year because it's more down to what you actually do in the labs rather than the basics of everything. So it's a lot more in depth. It's good. Yeah, I have to agree with that. I found like as you continue through the course you feel like you're progressing really well sort of thing. Like as first year it's kind of like you get introduced to like the anatomy of the body, like the human body generally. And then second year it's really good because you start to get introduced to all the techniques that the um, scientists generally use sort of thing. Um, and then third year it's kind of like you get introduced into all the different um, um, systems like we do haematology, transfusion science, it's actually sp like specific things um, rather than just the basics of everything. Yeah, it's sort of like it's relevant to like the pathology service and what's good about it as well is the fact that it gives you a very good broad overview of like what scientists need to know. Yeah. So what have you enjoyed the most about the course? I've really enjoyed the fact that the um, course gives you the experience to be able to um, get experience outside like the actual university, like um, with the uh, experience that I've been able to do, like I've been able to work with a um, hospital nearby and I've basically been able to go around like pathology department at Ketchum General Hospital and it's given me like practical experience to what's actually being taught to us in the university, so that's really good sort of thing, it gives you really good employability skills. How do you think that your course has helped you for the future prospects? I think the most important thing is the fact that IBM has approved it, really. Yeah, like, it's an accredited degree and it's well recognised. Yeah, internationally and both nationally. Like, I've noticed that when I've been looking around like for job prospects, like looking around like for like PhDs, jobs, Masters. like yeah, all that sort of stuff. Like, there is a wide variety we can choose, and the degree actually like. Generally, like, it covers meets, all aspects, yeah, it meets the requirements. It meets the requirements of what they're expecting of a, a, a graduate yeah. student, so that's really, really good sort of thing. But you're not just limited to working in a lab and becoming a biomedical scientist, it's opened a lot of doors for applying to graduate schemes or graduate mm. degrees like medical degrees, dentistry, mm. things in that field. Obviously, you can go straight into being a biomedical scientist and train, you can become a clinical scientist or go into research. It's not strictly just working in labs.